All right. Here's what I got. Apparently you can buy Bitcoin with an ATM. This is news to me, I, I had no idea, but naturally I gotta find one. So I went online and I found the closest one to my house. It's like 40 minutes away in a sketchy gas station. <laughs> there it is. Nice. <laughs> I found out this was a CoinSource ATM, so I figured I needed a CoinSource account. So I went online and made a CoinSource account, but then I realized that the CoinSource app was nowhere to be found in the app store. <coughs> At this point, I was very confused, scared, and a little hungry. So I had a nice little chat with a customer service rep named Maurice. He explained to me that they no longer have a working app in the app store, and I can use my Coinbase wallet instead of their wallet. Maurice, my man. I hopped in the car and I head on down. Yeah, so we're, we're rolling up on a gas station right now, and we're gonna go buy some Bitcoin from an ATM. Don't exactly feel comfortable, you know, doing Bitcoin exchanges in a gas station, but whatever. Yeah, it's right here, look, Bitcoin ATM. When I showed up, the ATM turned out to be a little intimidating, but it was honestly a lot easier to use than I thought it would be. You put in your phone number and they send you a code. Once you put the code in there, you have to accept the terms, click buy Bitcoin, receive Bitcoin, open your wallet, scan it with the ATM, they'll take their fee, you put in your cash, you print your receipt, and there you go, you're good to go. All right, yeah, so there was a pretty long line in there, and this dude bought like 20 grand of Bitcoin right in front of us, and some old lady dropped a bunch of money on the ground, but uh, I got some Bitcoin, so that's really cool. Now, before I tell you when and why you should use a Bitcoin ATM, I have to warn you. There's been like seven garbage trucks today. Really weird. After my transaction, my friend Ryan was like, hey, I should do a TikTok here. But he didn't have any cash, so I gave him 10 bucks and he put the 10 bucks on my wallet for his TikTok. About 10 minutes after we left, CoinSource texted me an unauthorized user warning, saying that someone other than myself was using my wallet. And now I'm under investigation for money laundering. So please like and subscribe, I, I could use the help. When should you use a Bitcoin ATM? Well, the guy in front of us, the, the one with the fat stacks, he uses it because Coinbase restricts transactions and purchases unless you have a government issued ID. So if somebody is, you know, not a legal resident or something, then they can use a physical Bitcoin ATM to buy Bitcoin rather than using like a platform such as Coinbase. So other than that, I can't really think of any reason to use it other than like turning your Bitcoin into cash really fast or turning cash into Bitcoin really fast. If I missed something, please let me know in the comments. But if you're looking to sell or buy crypto, I would just use Coinbase. Like that's what I use, it's great. And if you sign up with the link in my description, you and I both will get $10 of free Bitcoin. Also, Coinbase's fee is only 1% where these ATMs are 10%. So like, kind of a no brainer. However, and this is really important, there's no insurance for it. Bitcoin is not a federally recognized asset. Things like FDIC and SIPC cannot help you. If a platform such as Coinbase gets hacked and you lose all your crypto, you are out of luck. You are not getting it back. If you have a significant amount of crypto on a trading platform like Coinbase or an online wallet, I strongly urge you guys to put it on a hardware wallet, such as this right here. This is a ledger. You put your Bitcoin on here and you put it away. It's totally protected right here. No one's gonna hack into this unless they have this piece of hardware. I'll leave a couple links down below where you guys can buy one of these and yeah. That's all I got. There's been like seven garbage trucks today.